Ciao, welcome to Beatspot, I'm Marco and in this video I'm reviewing Vision 4X by Excite Audio and Noisia. So this is a metering plugin which is really interesting, so let's dive into it. So this is the interface, I will play some audio while being muted so we can see the visuals and I will talk over it. So this is what it looks like, we have a spectrogram, we have a frequency spectrum uh, analyzer and then we have this dynamics thing. And we also have this vector scope and this phase correlation meter. So what makes it like really interesting is that we have these four stuff, but we can focus on one only also like this by dragging and dropping the center of these four panels. And we can also like look at only two of them like these, like these, these, etc. And so it's really nice looking. It's kind of makes sense you can focus on whatever you want we also have this pointer here so if you look at the bottom of the interface we have the position frequency and volume parameter if i move the cursor the pointer in this module here we have the frequency and the volume and here we have the position and the volume and then we also have this function which kind of freezes everything so if we want to look at some data some insight of a specific point we can, if we click again, it just uh, goes on. And then we have the settings. So the settings is what makes this plugin really versatile. So let's start with the general. We have the modes, stereo left, right, mid, side. We also have the rotate function. And we have this trigger that I don't really get what it is about. And also the listen thing. Then we have a time overlay. So we have these fixed stuff and then it loops back and overlays or it just moves and follows the audio. Then we also have the sync. So it goes like this and we also have parameters to controls how fast it moves. So like factor, we can go by 100 semitons and it goes super fast. We also have a multiplier. So let's go 10 and this should be like one second. If we do like one and one here, it's the same behavior. So that's really nice. And we have this spectrum controls. So we have the range so we can like zoom into and zoom out uh, certain ranges. We also have the, the B range. Then we have the color map. So we have uh, several of them. I personally like the Mako and the rocket thing. The other ones are a bit too much, uh, too distracting for me, but I mean, that's personal taste. We also have the mode. So we have all round, we have a transient and we also have harmonic. Then we have the map curve. So if we want to focus on specific like uh, frequencies we also have a map bias then we have the bar graph which is this one i think let's look at it it's this one we can have more or less definition the speed the peak hold which is these little uh, rectangles and uh, reference we have these curves so we can kind of see the tonal the, the tonal balance the, the curve of like the general curve of uh, all these genres. Then we have spectrum highlight. So it's this behavior. We also have time, gate, and then we have the waveform. So we have more nuances, a gradient-like uh, thing on the waveform. We also have this headroom stuff and the VU speed. It's something maybe about this, about this one. Uh, here it's lower, so we can, it's like a view emitter, but it doesn't look like. So all this stuff really looks interesting, but there's this final thing, which is the preset. So we have different presets and we can focus on different stuff just with a bunch of clicks. So we have side focus and we basically have this stuff. And I think that this listen thing, it's actually focusing on this mid side and all stuff. So let's turn on this track absolutely so we have this side focus and we are listening to the focus then we have this quick waveform another lesson i caught it then we have the master prelim another lesson i caught it transient focus another lesson i caught transcription another lesson i caught it which I don't get, I, I mean, I should read the manual for these. Harmonics meets. Another lesson I caught it. 
So this is a focus on the tonal balance. Then let's go for master post limb. Another lesson I caught it. Now let's look at low end focus. Another lesson I caught it. Show my best to hide it. And the nice thing is that we have uh, like this correlation between uh, the heat, the waveform, and also the frequencies. So we can kind of analyze accurately what's going on under different aspects. Vocal. Another lesson I caught it. So this should be more suited for vocal mixing, vocal processing in general, quick metering. Another lesson I caught it. We have this master standalone. Another lesson I caught. It's like this, and you can save your own presets. So that's like what else can you ask for? And this metering plugin has so much stuff. I mean, it doesn't have everything I'm looking for. One thing it's missing, it's kind of a history panel, but there are other plugins for that. I hope they add it in a future update. I don't know if that makes sense because we already have four panels. So th these are more than enough in general for most tasks and most needs. And I don't know what else to say. This is a really great plugin. It gives you most of the information you are looking for and also in a way they are all connected with each other and you are more informed while mixing and mastering so this is it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you want to get this plugin you can check the link down below it's an affiliate link it doesn't cost anything to you but i get a commission for it and it's kind of a way to help the channel to help the whole project and a way to say thank you for the way i illustrated you this plugin and if it has been any helpful. So this is it for this video. See you in the next one.